Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 374. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 371 to 376. Hey, we have some even and odd numbers here. If I hit the F9 key, you can see it randomizes. What we want to do is count the number of odd and even. Right now we can see there's one, two, three, four odds and four evens. If I hit F9, we oh, it's four and four again, F9, four and four. Oh, there's two odds and the rest evens. So a great way, an easy way to get even and odd is to use the mod, M-O-D function. All the mod function does is gives you the remainder when you divide. So if I say, please take the number eight, and divide it by 2, the mod function says there is no remainder. So the answer will be 0. Right now it's looking at 3. 3 divided by 2 is 1 with a remainder of 1. So double click and send it down. The fact that we use mod of any number divided by 2, this uh, function set up here will always gives us, give us a 0 or 1. We could simply um, add these right down here, alt equals, and that would give us um, the number of odds. So let's come down here and we're going to use um, a similar formula, but notice this mod function, the number argument, there's only a single cell. It is expecting a single number there. Let's come over here and use mod, and I'm going to highlight all of these. As soon as we do that, you're telling the mod function, I am creating an array formula. That number is expecting a single cell. We gave it a range, which is an array, right? So boom, we have an array formula, so comma 2. Now, if we highlighted this and hit the F9 key, you can see it gives us F9 as the evaluate key. You can see it gives us the same uh, string of numbers here. Control Z, don't hit F9 and keep it. Uh, so how do we add those? We can either use sum and then Control Shift Enter, or why not just use the sum product? The sum product is built to handle arrays, and that's what that is. No need to use Control Shift Enter, you just put sum product and it knows how to add all of those numbers there and enter. So there's our odd numbers. Hit F9 again. Now I'm going to actually copy this out here and we're going to think about this. Um, how could we use this formula, I put it in edit mode and control V, how can we use this formula for counting odd numbers but instead have it count evens? Well notice over here the odds were given a 1 the evens are given a zero. Well, we can't tell some product to add the zeros because it will add all the zeros and get zero. But we can do this. Remember, this mod right here, if I highlight it and hit F9 evaluate, it's given us a string of zeros and one, control Z. So I can just say, hey, string of zeros and one, tell me when you're equal to zero. And now all of those zeros will become trues and the ones will become falses. I hit F9 there, Control Z. Now, in order for the sum product, it can't deal with trues and falses, so we have to either multiply all those by one or do double negative. Double negative is like the negative of a negative one is one. And you have to put parentheses around all of these trues and falses. Now, when you get negative, double negative of trues and falses, of course, if I hit the F9 key, that gives us our, just like we see out here, oh, but look, where the zero is, the one is. So now we have uh, calculated or counted one for each even number. I'm going to control Z and then enter. Now, um, this setup here was pretty convenient because there weren't any zeros. The problem with zero is it's uh, not an even number, and if we had a zero here, watch this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So now even is counting that zero, and we don't want that. I'm going to control Z, get rid of that. So now we can uh, take the same construct right here. Remember, this is count even. I'm going to copy. I'm going to come down here, put it in edit mode, and control V. Oh, but wait a second. I want to come down here. I want to do this different data set down here. See these ones right here with blue. Now the blue is showing me the even numbers, but not including zero. So I don't need this B2 anymore. I'm going to highlight that and then highlight this right here. 
Same problem here. Right now, this would count the zero. But hey, if we use this, which will give us, if I just hit uh, Enter, it'll give us four, right? One, two, three, four. But what if I subtracted all of the zeros? Well, that's easy to do, minus count if. We count if all of these right here. That's the range for count if, and you have to tell count if what to count, comma, the criteria is going to be a zero. So now we've taken all of the evens and zeros with this part right here, four, and now we're going to subtract the zero. So we enter. And sure enough, that will work. F9, F9, F9. I tried to figure out some other ways to do it. Uh, this one seemed like the best way. Uh, there's probably a better way to do this. But that is as straightforward. I could uh, figure out for counting the even numbers, not including 0. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.